peace of mind. The biggest cause of subluxation is stress. This is why people come into your office. There's a different energy. They feel different. They feel love, etc. And it's all about energy. And when you put your hands on their spine and adjust them, you're transferring the energy from your body into their body. And if you're distracted and you're thinking other things and you're off and you're just crunching bones, you're a thief. Most of all to yourself. It's when you get out of your comfort zone, you start getting happier. If you get in a comfort zone, you get up about the same time, you rush into the shower, you don't even enjoy it, you become a robot, you just get out of the shower, rush and get dressed, pour some food down your throat real quick, don't even enjoy it, and then off to the office, and you race to the office, and you run in, and then you start your day again, and you're on, this, you're on a track. That gets old, it'll make you old mentally. But when you start out right, this is why I said last night, your morning rituals are so important. The way you start your day is so important, and the way you end your day. And you really, if you, and you, you know, you get, you want to get that down. If you have children, every night, my mother came in, and we knelt by the side of the bed. And we said our prayers. Every night. Then she'd tuck us in. She'd always give us a kiss. And say, I love you. And she would always say, I believe in you. The greatest fog we're in is the one between our ears. The more clarity you get and the more you visualize it, as you, how many times have you heard it? Doesn't matter how many times you've heard it. Sometimes we need to hear it more. The mind cannot tell the actual difference between an actual experience and what you think about. They talked a lot about this in the last Olympics. Most of the gymnasts now spend more time off the bar thinking and training in their mind than they do on the bar actually piano teacher, etc., are getting children to visualize, you know, and it's so important. What's something you need, you've been putting off you need to do? I changes to my website. Changes to the website. Dr. Opal, what's the change you've been putting off? Um, enrolling back in the diplomat program. Enrolling back in the diplomat program. What have you been putting off? Team training weekly. Team training weekly. He called me, it was my first call on Tuesday morning. He said, coach, I got a question. Okay, what is it? He said, is it okay I've come to the session? Because he already told me he wasn't coming. A month ago, probably said, hey, I just can't make it. And I said, of course. What's the reason you want to be there? Get my mind straight. Get his mind straight. I won't say that how he said it. <laughs> but you know, I hope that, you know, we all get cloudy. But if you don't work on it, you know, it, it, you know every morning, like I said last night, you fuel up with your morning rituals. If you don't put fuel in the tank, it runs out. And the next thing you know, you run out and you run to, you drive to the side of the road, your tank is empty. And you sit there and complain about it. And I'm not talking to anybody in this room, we all do it. So you decide to fuel up every morning. One of the biggest lies I hear from people that I coach and in society is I don't have time. You have time to do anything in your life that's a priority. When you tell yourself you don't have time, don't lie to yourself. Just say it's not important to me. 
But don't lie and say you don't have time. You have time to do. We're all busy. So if you find yourself saying, I just don't seem to have time, quality time. You know, it, my wife, she doesn't expect a lot of my time, but she does expect quality. Information is the power when it, information that we're getting today is powerful when you act upon it. If you don't act upon it, it isn't powerful. Remember that repetition is the mother of skill. A team that wins together, grows together, stays together. Team training is a must, whether it's sport, the piano, or building a practice. Team training and team meetings are a must. If you get to the point, well, we, they're not really fun, we don't, they're not really productive, that, you're, that is because you're not doing the right things. God, you can lie and make excuses in life, and, but team meetings and team trainings work.